All right, we got three Casio ABC sensor watches, and we're going to see how they react to a sudden thunderstorm. I'm Jim Kincaid, and this is the Beater Watch Vlog. As you can tell, this thunder and lightning, okay, and these raindrops come down really big. I have three different watches that have have a barometer on them, okay. I got this is the new uh, GBDH two thousand, and I think that the graph since I've had it, it Where hasn't it hasn't made any sense. It has it just it's plotting these points that, that are kind of nonsensical. I should update it to see if that would rectify it, but look how big these raindrops are, by the way. They're coming down real hard. Anyways. Yeah, it's like borderline hail. Anyways, this is the new Mudman, okay? So let's take a look at the barometer. It's reading 26.75, so 26 and 3 quarters inches of mercury. Now you notice that the graph kind of makes sense. You can you can see the uh, pressure tailing off and coming down, which makes sense in terms of the storm. And look, it's the sun shining over there, which is pretty wild. All right, Don Don. And then here's the Pro Trek. Its barometer is reading the exact same thing. 26 and 3 quarters and you also notice that the graph on the top shows shows the uh, pressure coming down and and on the ProTrek the graph has a little bit of a darker backdrop and so I think that that this pressure dropping like it did is a good indication that the storm's coming and look I think that this is starting to become hail yeah there's tiny hail but anyways, when when we were when we were at the pool, Denise was saying that she was pish poshing the lifeguards for kicking us out because of the storm. All right, Don Don, because none of our weather apps are alerting us to to weather, right? But these these pro this is an example of having that barometer can give you a, a good indication about weather before your smartphone app will. All right. And also, Denise is still wearing the uh, uh, the Square Heart, the DWH fifty six hundred. So this doesn't have a barometer, but it it uh, I believe that if you hook it up to your phone, you can relay weather alerts to it. I'm pretty sure. I wouldn't know because I haven't hooked it up. But anyways, look at all this. This is crazy. <laughs> All right, guys. So obviously, I need to educate myself more on on uh, on the barometer and how changes in the barometer impact changes in weather. And I'm still learning about it. I mean, my understanding of it now is that if the if the barometer is elevated and then it, it tails off, that's an indication of precipitation. Okay. And if it's low and it starts boosting up way way up high, that wind could come in you know so I know there's a lot more to learn and I'm not trying to be like the expert on it but I do think it's interesting looking at the barometer and comparing them comparing the output among these three watches okay and of course the GBDH 2000 over here probably needs an update because the graph I've, I have not got the graph to present the barometer in any uh, sensible way okay so anyways this is a to be continued type of deal and I'm sure that some of you with experience can uh, leave some comments below and stay tuned because uh, we'll do some follow up testing on the ABC sensors and maybe have a more definitive guide to uh, how you can use a barometer. Anyways I'm Jim Kincaid and thanks for watching. <laughs>